Okay. So here's a question. Do I like animals? Do I have pets? Yes, I do. I like animals. I have cats. Two now. One long hair named Misty May. One short hair named China. You may eventually see them in a video. Uh, what else? I adore fish, but I cannot clean the tanks. We had a huge tank before. Um, but it was just too much to take care of. Emptying the tank every month, cleaning was just too much. So I had to give that up. But cats seem to be our preferred pet. I would love a dog, but where we are at the moment, we are not allowed to have a dog. Which is okay, I guess. Um, our one cat, Misty May, the long hair, she is a big chubbas and she has a problem using the washroom. And so after every washroom, we have to wipe her bum, check the litter, make sure she put all her poo-poos in the litter. And she is very, very high maintenance, this one. The other one is very well groomed, takes care of herself. I have no problem with her. But she's the one up in the middle of the night, or I should say early in the morning, 3 o'clock, zooming around the house like she owns it, like a racetrack. Or carrying her babies around in her mouth, meowing her face off. Misty will get up at 5, 5.30, and scratch at our door to be fed. That's the only time she wakes us. Both our cats are female, obviously. My husband would like another male cat. But as it stands right now, I think two cats is enough. We got our hands full with the messy one. So we have to bathe her a lot and use Polly's born sometimes on her bum. The vet said we can. And we're good to go. I mean, I like birds. I've never had the uh, patience for birds. But I do like them. Um, I am not partial to any kind of reptile, really. Maybe turtles. But you will not get me near a steak. Uh, I don't mind iguanas or lizards, but I don't want to hold them. <laughs> um, no, no rodents either, really. They're cute to look at, but I don't want to touch them. And absolutely no spiders. Oh, no, thank you. Um, farm animals. Yeah, I like farm animals. Um, allergic to horses, so I won't go near them. They are a beautiful creature, though. Um, 
Those little pot belly pigs are so cute. I haven't met anyone with one as a pet yet, but I imagine they must be hard work. I can't see them just being like a cat. You can leave them and let them be. I think if I can think of a story to tell you about an animal, I don't really have a weird animal story or a good one really. There's my butterfly one, or my, I keep calling them butterflies, I meant ladybug one that I mentioned in the last episode. Let me tell you, um, maybe about 10 years ago, my husband and I were, went camping with, um, our friends and we got to their trailer and it was covered, like, I would say there was about 50 ladybugs on the door, like on the screen door. And when you went inside, there was ladybugs everywhere. I was so creeped out that I had to sleep in that for the night. Actually, it was a couple nights, but ew, ladybugs. I mean, they can't hurt you. Ladybugs don't hurt you. Some might bite, but they don't hurt, per se. But just the thought of one touching me. Creeps me the fuck out. Fly in front of me, walk in front of me, whatever. Just don't touch me. See, sometimes I forget I'm supposed to be talking to you. I just get so caught up in my diamond painting. I'm like, oh, make that one straighter. This one's going to be a, quite a few. <clears throat> Sometimes if you push your diamonds hard enough or slide them up, you can get them to get a little closer or if you feel there's like a big gap. Usually when you put all your diamonds on, they push each, uh, bleh, excuse me, push each, uh, each other together. So it doesn't look as bad once you're just starting it. 
but once it's done, it looks good. You can also diamond paint with tweezers. Like you see me use my tweezers to take a piece off. <clears throat> but I do know a couple people who will use your tweezers and place, place them on like that. Okay, but for me, it's way faster and easier for me to just dab and stick. See, stop it, share. Okay. It's faster. And they do have these multi-placer ends, but I prefer, like I said, to do single, so it takes me my time, gives me my time, you know. I'm in no big rush. Rather sit here and think about things. Listen to my music, listen to my shows. I've probably been diamond painting about two years now. And this is the first time that I've actually sat down and videotaped myself. I mean, with the COVID and everything, there's hardly anything to do. So I figure, why not? because then after these kinds of videos I can put videos up maybe tutorials like oh what to do if you get paper stuck to your diamond painting easy simple I can show you or say you have bubbles and your sticky stuff I can help you with that or say you go to take off your paper here, off your, off your sticky stuff. And your sticky stuff comes off with it. And there's nothing, no sticky on your paper. I can help you with that too. You know, there's all different things.
I know there's other videos, but I can make videos for, you know, people who I know who would want to listen to me. And the best thing about diamond painting is anybody from any age can do it. But with also with diamond painting, if you want to do it, you got to want to do it. Otherwise, you're going to start it and you're going to say, ah, man, it's not for me. I don't want to do it no more. Then you get disinterested. <clears throat> then you got a masterpiece waiting to be done and it's not getting done. People are like, oh, what's that over there? And you're like, oh. Just a craft I started, I don't really want to do it. But let me tell you, if you do get it done, you'd be so proud of yourself. Yeah, you're diamond painting by colors or symbols or whatever. But it's a task, you know, start to finish. Something you can be proud of. Something you can show off if it really turns out nice. And then that's when you get all the questions. Where'd you get that? How did you do that? How much do those cost? Can you make me one? Can you order me one? And that's how it started for me. Also with diamond paintings, you want to get the right um, seller. So if you're I've done a couple of diamond paintings where the diamonds just aren't good quality. Like, see how this diamond is like super flat on the bottom? Right? It'll stick to the paper, no problems. Whereas this diamond, see how it's like curved on the bottom? The more curved they are, the bigger possibility that that diamond's gonna pop off your page even after a long time of being on there it's gonna pop which means right off I mean <clears throat> so um, you gotta I've been testing all different kinds of stores the worst one for diamonds right now, I would say, would be Huacan, H-U-A-C-A-N. Um, their beads pop terribly. The best one that I like right now would be Home Fun, H-O-M-F-U-N. Both stores are on AliExpress.com. And you know, they have sales and sometimes buy two, get one free. And you know, there's all kinds of stores online. But right now, those that's my least favorite and my favorite right now. Usually around Christmas time, they put big sales on. That's when I usually ask my family members, you know, do you want a picture? Do you want a diamond painting? Get them now. 
his regular diamond paintings. About $30 for a nice size. But around Christmas time, you can get them on sale for $20 or even less sometimes. But beware the seller. I think after this color, we'll go back to another song or two. Maybe speed up a little faster for you. Maybe I can watch one of my shows while you're on time lapse. I used to, for my favorite craft, I used to um, do, you know, the tissue paper where you scrunch it up on your pen and you put glue on it and you dab it and you can make a picture out of that. Well, I used to make names, make up names, my favorite, my uh, family names and, you know, just write out their name like uh, cursive and tissue paper them all up and give them to my family members until someone said they look like those funeral arrangements that they make out of flowers and they're you know the flowers with your name on them or they they say sister or brother or mom and they stand up at your funeral or at your gravesite Someone told me that that's what they look like. So I stopped making them, even though they were pretty. Um, at that point, I thought they were morbid. <laughs> I thought they were nice, but yeah, I can see if someone gave one to me and it's like, here, here. Um, yeah, it might look like that. So... I stopped doing it. It was nice for a while, but I didn't want to my, want to make people uncomfortable. Then I fell into diamond painting. Best switch I have ever done. Set all the cues. Set all the cues easy. Mm, these are these. Done. Okay. I guess time for some music.
Okay, so I forgot to press my <clears throat> record button on that one, but check this out. I don't know if you can see or not. Let me see if I can get this in good. But if you notice, I got fives and S's right across here. Look how close they are in color. Fives and S's. Almost the same color, almost the same shape. That is some hard stuff to uh, figure out. So I'm gonna just do this real fast. I think I'll do the fives. Hopefully I don't mess myself up. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. That was an S. Close one. Next one is an S. S, 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 Y. S, 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 Y.
tell me your name Hello, I love you, let me jump in your game She's walking down the street Blind to every eye she meets Do you think you'll be the guy To make the queen of the angels sigh Hello, I love you, won't you tell me your name Hello, I love you, let me jump in your game Hello, I love you, won't you tell me your name Hello I love you, let me jump in your game She holds her head so high Like a statue in the sky Her arms are wicked and her legs are long When she moves, my brain screams out this song